Hey there, YouTube. Um, Sunday show for the MR2. I was going to actually try to be a little shorter episode. I'm going to continue from uh, last week when um, basically trying to get the engine unseized if it's even possible. Just trying a few things that were told to me and how to do it online. Stuff like that. Figure out if anything actually works for you guys. I've never gotten the engine to unseize this way. Um, but last time I've shot PB Blaster down and I've had the spark plug soaking or, you know, the cylinder soaking in Marvel Mystery Oil. Used a whole cord in the engine. Um, and I had the spark plug cover and it took them off before I started this video. So, so far I've hooked the axles back up and I've tried to move it and get the engine to budge. Not moving. Pretty sure it's, you know, hardcore seized. But like I said, we're just going to try and see if uh, any of this works. Um, and by the way, the, the metal rescue that we used in the first episode, uh, this actually does work. Um, I used it on a suspension part for a customer's car. Uh, just uh, figured out because I had it off for a couple days. Uh, I've had to get a video of it, so I apologize about that. Um, but for the one thing, you know, I've tried to do something new every episode for this. And uh, basically, I love flip up headlights. You see? favorite thing about them. But, you know, they don't always work. And sometimes you don't have power to them. So, flip up headlights. Uh, like I said, they you know, don't always work. So, basically, to show you, pretty much all headlights have this. Just say, for instance, you know, you're on the side of the road, your headlights work, but your actuators for the flip ups aren't anymore. Um, this is where the MR2 has its advantage of no engine in the front end. But I was just going to show you. Um, it may not be in the exact location. This is where it is on the MR2. But every flip-up headlight has these little knobs. You see right there? Usually covered by something. For instance, this. It's covering that. I'm going to set that right there. And if you turn the knob the direction it says, you'll slowly but surely start seeing the headlight come up. And you can also help it lift up on it a little bit. And it does take a while. Um, you see there's kind of like a 12 point. I don't recommend you using anything on this. And it is a little easier if you hold up on it. Right, so right now I'm pulling up on it. Spinning the knob. So if you're really stuck out in, in the, you know, the woods or something, another, and you got no headlights, or you're at night, this is how you do it. And the headlight is up. And I don't know about all cars, but the MR2, in this instance, if I had a mop, all I was going to do is turn that switch. Back. And it'll automatically take over. So, that's my little tip for the day. Something new. Um, basically, okay. So now, back to the engine. So again, will probably be a mid-update during the week. But what I'm going to do is uh, I have this, but a bigger jug, the Marvel Mystery Oil. It's 20 bucks. Um, this is brake clean on it. It is not. I actually just went and filled it up. With about uh, three quarts of diesel overflowed a little bit on me, so I didn't uh, keep filling it. And we're gonna put this. I've already drained the oil, and uh, I will say this: after using them all the stuff onto the engine, trying to get it, make sure you're changing your oil, because uh, I didn't actually think that much went through on the for the metal rescue. 
But there was a bunch of water in my oil. Could have been there before, could cause it to seize. But I don't know. So, you take your oil cap off. And I'm going to pour in the diesel first. And the reason pouring in diesel is, is to fuel more of a cleaning effect than gasoline. More of a lubrication kind of oil. And I poured a little bit in the car, and I do not want that. So now, that's diesel fuel in my engine. Yeah, Pre-soaked everything. I also spelt a little bit down there. And we're cleaning stuff up today. So we're going to go grab a rag real quick and uh, clean that up. I don't really want that sitting on the paint. Uh. <sighs> Sorry, I keep getting this flashlight in the camera. Apologize. Okay, now, time for the marble. Make sure you keep something handier on the stab these freaking things. This engine only takes four quarts of oil in the sump, and I already have three uh, quarts of diesel. So this is four quarts of mystery oil. So we overflow the engine. Okay, so now that is in the engine, and it's going to sit for a while, marinate, and uh, yeah, hopefully, you know, this works for it. So now before you, I'm going to be letting the engine sit for probably a couple days, so you're going to want to uh, plug these holes back up.
Okay. So, there you go. Um, we're going to let this sit a couple days. Um, you can also use kerosene, I've heard. Um, so, basically, the steps I've taken is after the uh, metal rescue didn't work, it got the metal rescue out of there with a siphon hose. And, uh, sprayed a ton of PB blaster and probably a whole can. Or three quarters of a can. Then, um, with that sit for a couple of days, I hooked the axles back up and I actually hooked a uh, chain to my truck over there. What up? And yeah, that's what I did.